Hello all, welcome to Mobile Apps Academy. In this tutorial, we will go through the implementation of complex side menu using Swift UI. Codebase is hosted on the GitHub. If you are only interested in seeing the complete code, here are the editor screenshots. Before starting, I put lot of efforts in making these videos. Only 22% of the people who are watching the videos are subscribed. It would be very helpful if you subscribe to the channel. Let's start. We have totally 5 main views. One is the content view. This is where we design our main side menu and incorporate all other views. Second is the home page. Here we design our product view. Others are cart, order and favorites. These are dummy pages works as a placeholder to show the navigation from side menu. We will see how the homepage UI is implemented. Homepage consists of two main views. One is hero product image, another one is product list. Inside the body of homepage, we are using a vStack which will create a list of hero product and a product list which is also wrapped around a zStack and we set the background as black. Hero image view consists of a product image with two texts describing the product which is placed above a rectangle. Product list is a button consists of a rectangle and two texts. That's it. Now we will use this page inside our content view. Let's create our dummy cart order and favorite pages with one text showing the page name like this. We have all the needed pages now. Let's see how to implement side menu inside the content view. Content view consists of two parts. One is side menu and another one is main page. First, we create the side menu UI. Wrap the side menu view inside a vStack. We have not added anything inside the subview set. So let's see how our side menu hierarchy looks like. Side menu consists of a header, four button, a divider and a logout button. To align everything on top, we are using a spacer. Header consists of an image and two texts. Side menu list button is basically a normal button with an icon and a text whose values are being passed as parameter to the function. Logout button is similar to the side button with a text and an image. This is how side menu UI looks like. We need to add our pages on top of this. Add another vStack below side menu view. Stack header and pages like this. Set its background to black. Also set the background of whole view to white if the side menu is showing otherwise set it to black. We have not added the views for header and pages yet. All pages are switched with a state variable inside a geometry reader. Header consists of a button whose icon is changed based upon if the side menu is showing or not. A title whose value is also changing based upon which page is being shown on the screen. On menu button click, we are toggling the state boolean with animation. To show the side menu on the button click, we have to slide the pages to right. To do so, we have added a scale effect, a offset and a rotation effect whose values are being changed based upon the state boolean. That's it. On clicking on the side menu button, we are able to see the side menu and our view is also floating to the right. Thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe.